So let me get this straight. He boots me in the face last week, and then he doesn't show up this week? He doesn't want to fight me? Huh? Where is he? Is he at some shitty metal show? Some back alley? I don't know what guys like him do. I'm here, ready to fight him. And he's not here. What's the deal, Mikey? You ever knock on the door? What's up, Schmuckums? Hey, buddy. Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, what's going on, dude? Why are you so angry? You won your land. You won your match last week, dude. You should be super excited. You won fair and square like you always do. I mean, landlord did use a foreign object, and it wasn't like a clean one, but I still respect you, though. What do you want from me? Yeah, yeah. I want a tag team match. Just, just another another one because you never won fair and square. You you never beat me clean. Shut up. Dan and I, we've already beaten you twice, all right? We've beaten you twice. Since then, what have you done to proving yourself? Nothing. A little bit. I've done no, you, you haven't done anything. You need to prove yourself to me that you deserve that third match. So, what, what do you want me to do? Give me a day. Do, do you care if, you know, I book this match real quick? How about next week, you and me, one on one? What do you think about that? You beat me. Okay. You can get your third match. The third one? The third That's one. That's the best thing I've heard all day. We'll take the match, Mr. Naki. We'll see you then. Let's get going. We got some work to do, Felix. So wait, am I taking the match? You taking the match? What did I just say? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Next week, I'm kicking your ass. Don't forget I'm getting that. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Even on your best day, you can never look as good as us. So, to compensate for what you lacked in the looks department, I suggest you cop this Daddy S shirt only for $20. Daddy S. All right, folks, it's that time. Another week has gone by, and we are here. And so is Cheeky Lala, unfortunately. Show some respect, Kramars. No respect needed whatsoever. Big Sean Kramers, that's Wheels with a Z, and with you Z, are don't here forget it. for the destination spot on Thursday nights. It's time for Daddy Yeah at Night. We're starting it off strong with downtown Kenny Brown, a man who cannot be beaten, seemingly huh. since acquiring the services of uh, this annoying loudmouth in Cheeky Lala. Annoying loudmouth, wow. Look what she does every week. You saw her burst through that curtain. You saw what she had to say. She does what a good manager does, and that's keep their client on a winning streak. Let's see if she can do that with this challenge for Kenny Brown. The Black Flash, Jojo Collins, flesh fresh off his first ever victory here in Daddy Air Pro. Looking to continue that role in a big opportunity to take out somebody who's been undefeated in a very long time in Kenny Brown. Can Jojo Collins pull off the impossible? No, absolutely not, no. Downtown Kenny Brown is gonna take the Black Flash uh, to school. Uh, I mean, I beg School's to differ. School's in session, Kramar's The Black right Flash now. looking sharp with his new gear and on a roll here in Daddy Yeah Pro. And downtown Kenny Brown better be ready and better not sell short JoJo Collins in any sort of way because he's liable to catch a stiff knee right to the side of the head if he does. Well, the Black Flash definitely needs to use his speed as an advantage during this match because downtown Kenny Brown is the bigger man when it comes to seeing who stacks up bigger and larger against these guys. Yeah, there's a massive size difference for sure with downtown Kenny Brown, but he's got to use it like you said, but JoJo Collins is not going to allow Kenny Brown to get an opportunity to do that. You know JoJo's going to be all over that ring in any way he can, using that speed to its fullest extent. He's going to have to. And you're seeing right now, Lock up to start the contest. Collar and elbow style in the center and JoJo Collins trying to be quick on the goal behind and he needs to because if Brown gets a hold, that's when things are gonna go south real fast as you're seeing right now. 
Yeah, something that downtown Kenny Brown likes to do is work a slow match and work his pace. And that's when he gets the opportunities that opens for him throughout the match. And you got to believe that JoJo Collins is going to do whatever he can to make sure that doesn't happen. And look at this. Nice takedown there by the Black Flash. Doing a great job of controlling Kenny Brown here in the early going. And you got to believe that Kenny's going to want to take this thing down to the mat as soon as he possibly can. But JoJo Collins will not allow that to happen if he can have any say in the matter, but Kenny Brown twisting away on that arm and shoulder again of Jojo Collins. If I can take a uh, quick detour here and uh, just see what your thoughts are about next week. It looks like Flex Whitney is calling out one half of the Nachi Mafia, Frank Nachi, the bebop of professional wrestling. Is that a smart move? I've got some questions, and you see right there in the corner of your screen, the advice man himself. I have some questions about the services of the advice man, because as much as I love me some ring marshals, Flex Whitney especially, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if that's Fighting a wise off move. more than he can chew. Absolutely. Frank Nachi just beat the dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, with that nasty flying uppercut. Something we've never seen before. Is now the time for a guy like Flex Whitney to try to climb that kind of mountain wheels? Well, as we've seen, when uh, the, the Nachi, well, Frank Nachi was in action. It was a couple weeks ago, and it was a six-way oh. match, a three-on-three. And Jeremiah Richter turned his back to Frank Nachi with a big boot, sending him outside the ring and Landlord Yo, picking wheels, up the victory. Yo, Wheels, look at this. Breakneck speed from JoJo Collins. I'm sorry to cut you off, but my goodness, like a flash, the name is no joke. And getting a one count. Yeah, downtown Kenny As he Brown deserves. take a lot more. Let's take another look at this blazing speed from Collins. There's the kip up, and you can see that Collins will not be denied. And watch, had to be going at least twice as fast as Kenny Brown in this sequence right here. Look at that. Right on the button, too. But not enough to put the man down for three. And I'll tell you what, a guy like Flex Whitney's got to use similar speed going into that contest, contest next week with Nachi. And uh, it's a tough task, a tall mountain to climb. And I don't know, I'm, I'm very nervous for Flex. I hope the advice man has a lot more advice in the tank or that Flex has endless dollars to obtain said advice. It's a bad move. I know you want to try to take on the toughest competitors in your promotion, but it's just an awful move. And I'll tell you what, Flex Quinton, he wants to prove everybody wrong, and he's going to have a chance to do that next week right here on Daddy at Night, Thursday night's destination for the best in professional wrestling. Not only the best, the new. I mean, we don't go back to reruns. This is a new week episode every Thursday night at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. As sure as the sun rise, Daddy yeah, at Night will be coming to you every Thursday from here until forever, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because hard work is forever. And JoJo Collins needs to get some of that hard work going right now, because in the last few moments in this contest, we've seen it completely swing in the favor of downtown Kenny Brown. And Cheeky Lala is no very surprise. happy on the outside. I mean, she's just doing what she's being paid for. But JoJo Collins refusing to be denied. What a forearm shiver. And here we go. Collins looking to light it up. These kicks finding their mark right now. Kenny Brown missing on that one. Wait a minute. Big Collins. miss by, by downtown, though. And yeah, downtown doing a great job taking his head off with a big clothesline. Is this enough? Only a one count, the Black Flash saying, not now, it is not your time, downtown. As we truck on here, opening contest brought to you by Carbone's Pizza, the best in Buffalo, paired with the best wrestling. Makes for a great Thursday night, huh, Wheels? Sure does, absolutely. Call them up, get your order of breadsticks and some double order of wings while you're at it. And judging by what just happened to JoJo Good Collins, night. don't eat your car bones before a match with Kenny Brown. No, that's something you would do. That's the advice you'd get and then tell somebody. Well, if Kenny Brown stomped my stomach out like that, my car bones would clearly be all over the map. But I'm not nobody wants it. Nobody wants to even get that I'll mental the image bones, in their not, head. I'll eat the car bones, but I'm not getting in that ring. Nobody wants to see you in there. I, uh, you're, you're a health risk. I, I, hey, 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 hey. Look at downtown wow. having his way with 
the Black Flash, JoJo Collins. Speaking of a health risk, if this continues, JoJo Collins will have to make a visit to the infirmary sometime soon. Off the ropes, all the oh, weight and force down across the neck on that steel cable. Enough to put him away? No, no, just two. We'll talk to downtown Kenny Brown and have him do that to you. That won't happen. That would be, that would be enough to make my month. You're a damn fool, Kramer. And look at this. Damon Resnick assuring Kenny Brown that that was not the end. Jojo Collins staying alive. For the time being, that is. Head of steam from Brown. Another shot. I'm not sure how many more of these the head of Jojo Brown can handle. It's in. Jojo Collins, not Jojo Brown. Is Get it right, you damn fool. My brain scrambled just like Jojo's after this beating. And to think, you never even took one shot either by somebody. Hey. It's hard to watch something like this. There we go. Three Joe, Joe Collins! Oh. Going for the tray, but not. Look at the power of Collins here. Let's see. Big German suplex and a bridge. Is it? No, not yet. Kicking out with all of his might is the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. Any new and improved. Gotta take another look at this here. Shot right to the chin. Sending him to the ground, too. Man, what I didn't have on my bingo card, I'm seeing right here. Jojo Collins, German suplex with a bridge on the much larger Kenny Brown. Not enough. And here we are at this point in the contest where the next man to get a big move could very well be your winner. Fighting to get to a knee as both guys. Shot from Collins. Lining it up once more. Can he get the third? Let's see. Kenny Brown in the corner in a bad spot. Irish whip, reversal. Collins up. Look at that athleticism up and over. Down Blue down. thunder bomb. Going for a ride. Just to do it. Yes. No. Calm down, Cray Mars. Calm down. JoJo Collins just about put away Kenny Brown. Look at the look on Cheeky Lala. She, she is worried. Be concerned. JoJo Collins right now on fire. That is a look of concern for sure. Look at JoJo. Wheels, this is the best match I've ever seen this kid have. Oh no, shots to the face. Definitely doing everything he's gotta do to keep Kenny Brown off his equilibrium. Head of steam coming from Collins. Look for that shiny wizard maybe, got it! Could this be the end of downtown's undefeated streak? Look at a leg. Smart move by downtown, knowing his whereabouts inside that ring, grabbing the bottom rope. Definitely, without reaching out for that rope. I don't know that downtown had the wherewithal or the power to kick out, but JoJo Collins has him on the break right now. Collins looking to use it, let's see. Oh, and that damn cheeky oh, Lala. smart move. That damn cheeky Lala grabbing the foot of JoJo Collins. Wisely intelligent by cheeky Lala. No, 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 not this. Not Kevin, this. Super oh, kick. Yes, right on the button by oh, come downtown on. Kenny Brown. Oh, come on. Looking to spike the black flash. No. What goes up must go oh. down. Right on the top of his skull. That's it. Count the 10. Count of three. It's academic, your winner. But of course, with the help of Cheeky Lala, that damn downtown Kenny Brown. She's doing exactly what needs to be done, Kramer. I don't know why I have to explain this every single freaking week here. Cheap tactics lead to one of the best pile drivers Boom. in the game, and out goes Jojo Collins. As quick as turning off the light, that's how it ended. The lights of Jojo go out dark, Absolutely. and it is over for the Black Flash. Another victory for downtown Kenny Brown and a Absolutely. series of many victories, my friend. Yeah, stay tuned. We got the landlord looking to collect some rent. Oh, great.
Tyson, pay for my following. In Buffalo, there's only one pizza that matters. Car, bones, sweet, soft. Come get some of that hot, flavorful, greasy pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, that sauce that tingles the back of your tongue for an enjoyable time. Car, bones, the corner of Hamburg Street in South Park Avenue. So I finally got Jan. You know, I see a lot of myself in Jan. I once was a young up and comer, had all the talent in the world, but you know, Jan just isn't hating back when so. You know how this is gonna go. Contact Daddy Yan today and get your Daddy Yan t shirt. And I will give mommy a special break on the rent. All right, we're back. Next contest tonight, and I hope oh, your rent yes. is paid because the biggest scumbag in professional wrestling and definitely he's Daddy Yan, yeah, the landlord. It's it's right around Christmas time. I guess he's probably gearing up for some evictions. I can smell the jealousy oozing out of your pores, Kramars. I, I really just, can. I just know what a quality human being is, and I'm not looking at one right now. The landlord, one of the greasiest SOBs in Buffalo, New York. He's out. The man's ah. got to collect rent, okay? And right when things seemed like they couldn't get uh, couldn't get any better, somehow they did. Sean Ross, Lex Whitney, the ring marshals are in the house. Listen to this reaction. The landlord not impressed whatsoever. He should be. He should be impressed. Though. Cut it out. There's been nobody in recent history here at Daddy F. Pro that has been more impressive than Tron Ross. You said it yourself. I did not prove it. Play back the footage. I believe it was around the time uh, when he went 15 minutes with Haley Dillon. No, no, no words would ever get. It's on record. out of my mouth. Well, that's the benefit ever. of television. Cut it out. Forever. It sure is. So prove me wrong. All right. Bell has sounded. We are underway. And Sean Ross too smart for the landlord's typical tactics. Sean Ross looking real scared there out of the gate. Scared? Yeah. Did you see how he backed are up? You, are you watching the same thing Shaking in his boots with Sean Ross. Actually, it looks like he's engaging that coward, the landlord, right now. One of the best professional <laughs> wrestlers in the game is the landlord. Yeah. Yeah, the best run away from action, right? Yeah, you hear it. I'm not the only one who thinks it. Everybody here does. Now, would, a you, would a coward tie up like that? The aggressiveness he did. Off guard. Not going to work. The, oh! Getting the upper hand, of course, is the landlord having his way. Yeah, working on that shoulder. Oh, and when, that's a shot that Schwan Ross certainly felt. One of the best technicians in the game right now. Look, Look at this. that. Stole the words right out of my mouth there, wheels with an S. Yo, Kramer is disrespecting you like that again, slapping the living crap out of you. <laughs> There's a whole locker room of people who would not allow that to happen. You, you really think so? I do. What, are you going to send the landlord out after me? No. Because it damn sure ain't going to be you. Well, right there's, now, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of young blood in there looking to make a name for themselves. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah, and that's something that Schwan Ross is definitely looking to do, but right now he's in a bad spot. And, you, and to be fair, oh, here we go. Landlord landlord looking to pick up a big, quick victory here. Got him stretched out for a honeymooner here. This is something you don't see, and this is why I call the landlord the best technician in Buffalo. I mean, did you see moves like that pulled off? Every day, Kramars. I mean, Come on, a you're play by to, play. Definitely a throwback to a different era of professional wrestling. And the landlord is a gifted technician. I will not let anybody take that away from him. But you can be a gifted technician all you want. It doesn't matter a single bit, Wheels. He's a scumbag. Let's just face facts. Have you faced him yet? You're chirping a lot. I can hear a little bit. Yeah, and this but is where the like turnaround blah, blah, starts. Blah, blah, blah. Watch this, Schwan Ross in control of the arms and shoulders of the landlord right here. Looking to turn it around. Oh, and down goes Ross. Once again, the oh, and that disrespect. 
the disrespect. This is what the landlord does best. Plays those head games, and there is the signature jumping jack. But look behind you, buddy. Showing his dominance is what the landlord's doing. Oh, yeah. Schwan Ross with another takeover. Catching the man off guard. Hitting the man behind his back. I mean, come on. You, you don't get any lower than that, Kramars. Only good for one by the landlord. I disagree I know with tactics, what you're saying tactics, and I'm just going to graze past it. Right. Tactics you would use, I know, for sure. And that you cheer for. Hit the man while his back is turned. Total cool. That's Total coolness there. Disrespect. But right now, the landlord unable to break free from the grips of Sean Ross. Headlock cinched in tight. The life leaving the body of the landlord. As you can see, I'm trying to get free right here. Doing everything to get some separation here. This is what Schwan Ross has to do. He's got to keep this contest on the mat. He's got to keep the landlord honest. And that's real hard to do to keep a guy like that honest, all wheels. No, not at all. He's a stand-up guy. So the landlord's easy to keep honest. Here we go. Schoolboy. Only, only good, good for two. Yeah. Not enough to keep the man, the legend, the best professional wrestler in, in Buffalo, yeah, the, the landlord. Grab a, of, he grabbed a hold of the man's hair, but Schwan Ross right back up. Not going to stay down in this situation. Is it, it, trouble. I mean, is it pulling the hair a little dirty? Sure. Is it cheating? No. It's not cheating. Prove me wrong, Kramer. You're not allowed to pull the hair. What are you talking about? It blatantly hey, 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 listen, happened listen, in front listen. of the referee. Oh, Somebody oh, get Flex Whitney on the oh. phone. Have him bring that rule book over here. Oh, and the landlord the, taking the advantage. The tide has turned. Look at the leg. That's got to do it. Not enough. Still only a one count. Schwan Ross refusing to say die. But the landlord right now continuing the assault in the corner. Schwan Ross will have no choice but to give up or to just stay down for three against the landlord. Who are you kidding? Well, that remains to be seen. That's why we do this on Thursday nights. The action happens in the ring, not out of your mouth. People tune in to listen to me, Kramers. Who are you fooling? Another old school move here from the landlord. Abdominal stretch locked in tight. You can see the abdominal muscles of Ross being stretched out mercilessly here by the landlord. Great move. And no grace period whatsoever for Ross's abs. Landlord accidentally putting his hand on the top rope there, yeah, not knowing where he's at. Just watch this recovery by the landlord here. Watch him use our official to create that little bit of confusion. And it was just enough. Turning back, point in the contest right there, but on the back bottom, elbow. the landlord. Sending Ross right to the mat, too. Not going to be enough to end the contest, though. Only good for two. Getting closer and closer, though, Kramar is looking for a suplex. Oh, small Kramer. package. Just two. two. Schwan Ross, real resourceful in the ring, taking advantage of whatever opportunity, as small as it may be. Landlord got to get back into this. Ross giving some hard shots to the landlord here. Oh, and the landlord said no. Boot right under the jaw. Referee's got to pay attention to those closed fists, too. Oh, up, up, over, all the way to the down. floor. Good thing he missed that light. Landlord landing onto the hard, cold cement floor. And no padding that. underneath over there. Kramer, you cut me off again, I swear. Rolling landlord in, though. Not enough. Not yet, buddy. Just two. Ross got to be on the verge of putting this thing away. Landlord's, landlord's got to have something up his sleeve. Well, chances are he probably literally does. This is the landlord we're talking about. Stay tuned, although I'm sure you won't see it if it ever happens. Stop it. Oh, oh no! There go. What an idiot. And a DDT. Both men down, but what? Could you be more in the way? I mean, come on, ref. Come on, the first time didn't think you wouldn't think. What the hell is this? The rule book is out here and you should give it a read. The landlord's oh. got a damn chain. No, he doesn't. Who holds that? Okay, it might be a chain. And as you can see, Flex Whitney clearly letting everyone know that that is not within the rules. Well, clearly, the landlord doesn't give a damn what Flex is Watch out, Swan. Oh, oh, there it is. Hitting the man below the belt, clearly. One for the rules, huh? There, Kramers. Oh, no, no. Two. Yes. Oh, That's what I'm talking it. about. Your winner, Schwan Ross. By distraction, too. By I mean, distraction. Come on. Let's call it the way we see it here, Kramers. Oh, that's what I call an injustice. 
stopped from happening Unreal. right before our eyes. And that, that is in the rule book right I, there. I need to get a closer look at that rule book. Because I, I don't believe that was in the rule book there. The one, the two, and the three. And at the end of the day, your winner, Schwan Ross. So unfortunate. We got a main event coming up, though. I heard, I heard the daddy, yeah. Uh, Heavyweight champion is in the building. You got that right. Stay tuned. Main event next. Grapplers Anonymous so special is it's a great team environment. I come here and I'm able to deal with people from all different walks of life, people who necessarily wouldn't be friends in normal life, but it's everybody who has one common bond and one common goal to be able to be um, great professional wrestlers. And I think that's what this gym provides. It's a, we have a culture here of hard work and a culture of inspiring each other and a culture of supporting each other to where when you come here, you can instantly feel that. If you're a new guy coming into the gym, I feel like you can feel the brotherhood, you can feel the team environment right when you walk in. And then if you are um, making the decision to stay and keep training, you eventually get integrated into that. And then the team just keeps building and growing with all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. And I think that's really what makes this gym special. Tonight, I'm facing Heron Beckham. Ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't get any bigger than that, because he's a world champion of Rappos Anonymous. See, every time I've been in the ring, every time I've been facing with failure, that being a loss, or being cheated out after victory. See, if you go back to June 24th, 25th, at the Daddy show, I was this close, this close, of getting my first victory in front of a crowd. Tonight, I'm gonna prove why I could be championship material when I face Hayden in that ring and actually beat him for the title. Hey, see this? Join the movement. Daddy, yeah, and back when we trust. All right, folks, it's main event time here on Daddy Yeah at night, and a young upstart, Jan, with the, the biggest opportunity of his career. Let's just be honest. That's what it is. He's uh, got America's choice, Hayden Backlund. Wheels, that's your boy. Hayden Backlund sure is my boy. But young Jan has an opportunity of a lifetime, not just of, of the, his career, a young career that has just started here, but of a lifetime. He could be catapulted to the number one guy going around town defending this beautiful championship all around Western New York. Speaking of that championship, here's the champion himself, America's Choice, Hayden Backlund. Not happy with the reaction he's getting, gonna try it again. I what? guarantee you it ain't gonna get better, Wheels. I mean, he deserves some respect, I mean, right? He, he's 1-0 oh since, coming, or since becoming the champion. Yeah, this is his second title defense and the champion's discretion, if you wanna make it clear, Hayden Beckley is not ready yet. Super impressive record, I may add, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's nice to see him back here at Grapplers Anonymous doing what he does best. But, Wheels, I just want to say this. Remember, we don't just hand out championship matches here at Daddy F. Oh, it sure seems like it. This is champion's discretion. This is Hayden Backlund's choice. This is not the company's choice. Hayden Backlund had a match tonight. It was originally not supposed to be a championship match. But Hayden Backlund is a fighting champion, and every match he has will be a championship match. Whoa, that, that's breaking news. That's Hayden Backlund. He's, uh, he's, you have to get his words on this next time you see him. Yeah. But that's the word going around next the back here at Grapplers Anonymous. We haven't heard an official statement from Backlund on it yet, but that's the word going around in the back here. All the boys 
all are lined up and get a contest with Hayden Backlund because it will be a championship match, at least according to the word in the president of Backlund. Well, I usually get that scoop, and that is not a scoop I had gotten. Yeah, so, so I mean, this is... News scoop for quite some time right now, and it shows through tonight, but Hayden Backlund is not the most popular man in Buffalo. Jan, on the other hand, listen to that. Boo. You hear, you hear the crowd booing this guy out. I mean, I mean, rewind a few minutes ago. Unreal. Backlund was up on that turnbuckle, that's what I heard. But right now, Jan... Wants one more time to show their self, to show their true colors and cheer. An explosion of jeers. Courtesy of the Grapplers Faithful. Not cheers, I said cheers. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear. Right. Shout out to Niger. Dulce Pana Pinto Attorneys at Law, the sponsor for this main event contest. And I'll tell you what, if Peyton Backlund's not careful, you may need to visit Listen. Dulce Pana Pinto. Young Jan. Jan is serious and Jan is ready for this match and we are underway. Listen, Jan almost took himself out before even tying up with the champ. All right, so. But, Jan needs to be careful in this match. Every move he makes, too, could be the wrong one. Absolutely, and you saw, like you pointed out, the start of the contest was a wrong move for Jan, but nice head scissor, though, to regain control. Looking to squeeze the life out of Hayden, but not having any of it is Backlund, the champion. Another nice takeover, though, from Jan. Jan doing a great job of keeping the champion grounded and getting control early. Let's see if Backlund can inch his way out of this. The fighting champion, as Kramars calls him. 1-0 since becoming the very first Daddy App Pro oh, Heavyweight Champion. Wheels, do you believe in miracles? No, absolutely you not. Know. No. Well, let's see. Oh, and Hayden Backlund hammer away on the bread basket enough to make him drop. Getting stomped right out the way he should. I mean, that's the only way you learn, right? You get knocked down a peg or two. Yeah, and a guy like Hayden Backlund's a guy that's knocked a lot of people down a peg or two. Nice snap suplex by Hayden Backlund. Absolutely, With and this ease. is what we got to watch for, Wheels, because once Hayden gets a start, he starts to string them together, and this spells trouble for Jan. Let's see if we cover just two. Like a locomotive. You can't stop it, Kramers. There ain't no stopping. Another kick to the side of the head of Jan. A shout out to our official for this contest, a long time Western New York wrestling veteran. Up and over. Here we go. Just two. I want to thank Bruce for making the trip up to ref this contest. And I can't think of a better guy to ref a Danny at pro title match. Talk about holding Down pockets there. here. Oh my goodness, that Falcon arrow bearing Jan. Not going to be enough, though. You idiot. I want, to thank, I want to thank the kids that are watching. I want to thank uh, the but that's not what I said. Spectrum Internet for providing our internet service. I want to thank the good people at YouTube for monitoring all matches. Kramer, shut up, you idiot. <laughs> such, You're such a kiss ass. Your nose is so brown. Big news oh. champion of the world, wheels with a Z. But right now, Jan is in the worst trouble he's been in all night. Back on the verge. Jan fighting for his life right now. Backlund having his way as a champion would. This spells trouble for Jan. Let's see. Oh, Jan, wait a minute. Disaster kick right to the side of the face. Right to the dome piece of Jan. Good night. Jan's Lights out. Retreated right to the back of his head, but no, that's just two wheels. Yeah, that's just pure instinct. He's kicking out. And one takes for sure the champion. Backlund. Let him have a couple words there, Kramers. You're always talking. He's up. When you see the champ open his mouth, you shut your mouth. The only time the champ opens his mouth is when you're not around, as uh, referenced by previous uh, attempts to get the energy by One attempt. He only talks get it to right, Kramars. <laughs> and you're one of them, right? Yeah. You're the big winner. Yeah. Loser. Wow. Well, right now, Hayden Backman might be the loser. What a backbreaker from Jan. Turning point, let's see. Big time. Big time elbow to the center there, looking to pick it up just to. I can't believe it, buddy. I'm back and done. Watch this one more time on our Genesis game in the hobby double feature. Massive backbreaker from Young Jan. And you see on the bottom right now. He's oh. back with the cutter. Out of nowhere, too. Just when you thought Jan was about to go to the next level, Heaton Backlund cuts it off like nothing. And that's it. Backlund's got Jan right where he Oh, no. That triangle cinched. We're looking to prove a point here. Referee, get in there. Get in there. Save the man's life. He's Jan's gone limp. Cold. He's gone limp. 
That's, That's it. it. And wow. still your daddy uh, heavyweight champ. Let the man speak. talk about a statement wheels that's a statement what you just watched right there is a statement Hayden Backlund says I'm the class of this company and he's showing the world with stuff like this there's your champion and that's why a fighting champion absolutely second title defense successful here on daddy at night what a week huh wheels absolutely another Thursday in the books Tune in next week, Thursday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'm Wheels with a Z. That's a chrome dome right next to me. Big Kramars. and yet he chooses a guy who has absolutely no victories in Daddy Yeah. And this week he chooses Jan, who has plenty of victories in the past, but this kid hasn't been here in months. Hayden, I'm asking you to be a real champion and accept a real challenger. I'll see you soon. Anthony Musso, you have committed a cardinal sin. You know what that cardinal sin is? You spoke my name out of turn. I understand. You are a very good competitor. Now I've watched you since I was 18 years old. Chop, kick, beat almost every single person in Buffalo, New York. But you can't beat me. You call yourself, you call yourself the Dark Horse. When we finally lock up, and my title's on the line, that term Dark Horse has never been more true. Because when you're in the ring with Hayden Backlund, I'm shining way more than you'll ever be. You need something to wear to land the interview for that job you've always wanted. Perhaps something to impress the missus on Valentine's Day. Well, buy this Daddy Yeah t-shirt. And now, for 52 weeks only, buy one, get one, the same price.